I'm ready. Very well. Let's begin by discussing our current situation. Great. Can we start with how I talked until I was blue in the face just to convince this stubborn? You didn't convince me of anything. I am here because the fate of our entire race hangs in the balance. Commander Noah, I presume. My name is Lakian Arcathes Fawood. I come here on behalf of the Fawood clan, as well as the Elvish Table of Elders. We have been informed of the Empire's Rune Lens research, the abductions in the Greatwood, and their pugnant violations of the League of Nations' sovereignty. The Elves will not turn a blind eye to such. We seek to join the Alliance. Your strength and courage would be most welcome. Thank you. Okay, is no one gonna give me any credit? <sighs> this isn't about you. I have asked the elves to shelter their army in the forest. We don't want to show our hand to the Empire too soon. There are other minor forces through the League's territory that have declared for the Alliance. Unfortunately, many have declared for the Empire as well. I have succeeded in bringing a large number of surviving Eucrisian and Norasturi troops here to the castle. However, I have not been able to account for General Electra or Captain Maxim, who stayed in Athrobalt, or King Sullis, who fled the city. The General was so brave. There are whispers of other groups who continue to oppose the Empire. Sadly, there is precious little time remaining to us. We should try to connect with as many of them as we can before our clash with the Empire. Yes. It's never too late to keep trying. That's where those allied rats hide. From the look of it, one would hardly know they raised it from an abandoned citadel. Shall I leave the building unharmed, Your Grace? No. This castle will soon be their grave. I have no use for such a Golgotha. I cannot believe these stubborn wretches are still trying to swim against the flow of history. It is a castle of fools. <laughs> Shall I send a runner demanding surrender? If they're of a mind to capitulate, they'd have done so already. So we attack without mercy? Do you object, General Goldwyn? As I understand it, there are many children in the Alliance. Need we scatter lives so young to the wind? The General. Hailed as defender of the Empire, is concerned about the lives of pups who bared their fangs at his motherland. Fortunately for you, General, your Emperor has already cast his judgment. I trust you will obey. I know my place. Narengard! Where is that brutish corpse of yours? 
One moment. Greetings, Dukes Aldrich. You will be pleased to learn the rats who crept into my home are now sustenance for my beloved. Rest assured your plans may go forward unimpeded. They had better. Never fear. Not bad. Sure you don't want to stay that way? And deprive the world of my impossibly handsome visage. What a loathsome suggestion. Ten points for unshakable confidence. I, too, prefer my thrall's rugged good looks. And I deserve the very best. Hmm. Am I just not seeing it? It sure took the Empire long enough. I figured they'd stage this attack a hell of a lot sooner. Let's just pray that extra time is what decides the winner of this war. Cool. Now all that's left is to wait for the signal. I think I'll head back to the castle. The rest is up to you, Marissa. finally found us. Yes, but not as quickly as we feared. The delay has given us time to squeeze in a few last preparations. Speaking of, I've squeezed in a few more rescued soldiers. And I've squeezed our new recruits as hard as I can in their training. Got the troops outfitted too. But barely, and much to the annoyance of my extremely tired craftsmen and merchants. I finished preparing the magical ritual we'll use to signal Marissa. It took delicate adjustments to make sure I channeled the message correctly through the men here, but I'm so perfect, I got it on the third try. It would have been harder, except someone had already performed a similar rite there before. So... A final showdown with the Empire? Yar, I be ready to hustle! Let's knock those villains all the way back home, cousin! But if we lose... We won't. Not a chance. Right, Sane? That's right. This time we stop Aldrich no matter what. Some say victory and defeat are a breath apart. I say victory goes to those who work the hardest. We have earned this. Uh, yep, there's no stopping us now. We can do this. The enemy is still readying their troops. There won't be a battle until the morrow at the earliest. Let us use this night to nourish our strength and courage. Good idea. We've done everything in our power. All that remains is to win. And we will. Hmm. So, 
um, good luck tomorrow, and all that. It's going to be a very long day, Noah. Get some rest. You too. Oh, do come in. What do you need? Until next.
Master Sin? Yes, Yelu? I just wanted to thank you again for rescuing us. Uh, I don't deserve that. I failed to save your family, and as a citizen of the Empire, I owe you so much more. Oh. That's why winning tomorrow's battle is so important. We'll be defending the lives and livelihoods of countless people, not just your village, but people across the League of Nations. Also, the citizens of the Empire must be saved from the ambitions of a tyrant. And I believe we can do it. Um... I believe it too. And... I'm praying you come back safely. We'll need all the luck we can get if we're to make it through the day. So every prayer you say makes me feel all the stronger. Hmm? Noah? Hello, Noah. I'm, uh, well, sorry I barged in like that. Barged in? On what? Noah, do you remember our first conversation down in the Rune Barrows? Yeah, I do. It was so quiet, just like now. But look how much our lives have changed. You've gone from a newcomer in the Watch to the commander of the Alliance, and I've left the Empire to fight at your side. I guess it is pretty strange. My mind's been so wrapped up in everything going on that I've forgotten how to reminisce. Well, at least you haven't changed much. You meddle on a much bigger scale now, but otherwise, eh. Oh, that's all I've changed? Eh? When we met, I thought my path in life was fame, renown, and living for my family. My father had pinned his hopes on my elder brother. When he died on the battlefield, grief overwhelmed my mother and she completely closed down. On that day, I decided it was my turn to step up. I lived for my house so blindly that I even raised my blade against you, my friend. It's like every decision I made to that point was wrong. And now, I don't know who I am anymore. Really? Because I just see the same person you've always been. And what is that? Someone who has this... Well, I guess you'd call it a creed? Or a code, maybe. Values that you stick by, no matter what. I saw it in you at the Barrows. I saw it in you when we fought in Altus Vice. And I see it in you now. A code? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know what I was thinking that day I left Kashiri. I just sort of went. But then to meet someone like you, a man with actual goals and principles, 
it was mind-blowing. And I admired you for it. <laughs> so why do you keep fighting this war? And don't say to meddle, because we both know it's more than that. <sighs> My mother died when Lane and I were little, so... Dad was the one who raised us. He did everything. And then one day, poof, he was gone too. Some bandits raided the village. He decided to fight back. And... Ugh. As a kid, I couldn't begin to understand why he did that. And in fact, I, I hated him for it. I hated that he made it his problem when he didn't have to. Like, was whatever he was trying to accomplish that much more important than us? I wanted so badly to understand him. I see. And did you find your answer? <laughs> Yeah. Turns out I'm a lot more like him than I realized. I wouldn't be here if he hadn't stood up that day to protect me, Lean, and the rest of the village. So that's why I'm doing the same now. <laughs> well, don't forget there are lots of people ready to fight for you as well. Including me. Thanks, Sane. I'm glad you'll be with me for the battle tomorrow. So long as we remain together, we cannot lose. I should go, Noah. Have to rest up for tomorrow. That we do. Ah, Noah! Everything all right, Yuma? Oh, um... Well, I suppose I'm so nervous about tomorrow that I'm having trouble falling asleep. I thought talking with Periel might calm my nerves, but when I went to her quarters, she wasn't there. Janquist didn't seem to know where she was either, so I've been trying to figure out where she might... Uh, by which I mean... Yes? She's... she's not in your quarters, is she? I think you've got the wrong idea. Oh, goodness, but I'm so very worried. Ever since those Imperial troops appeared on the horizon, she's had this agonized expression on her face. I do hope nothing bad happened. Uh, but she seems to trust you, so if you see her, do you think you could reach out? Sure, I'll do that. All right. Oh, I'm so useless. I wonder she doesn't confide in me. I wonder where Puriel went.
Slow down, General. You're overdoing it before the big battle. <laughs> It'll take more than a few drinks to topple the mighty Kogan. Oh. Ho there, cousin. Come for a little pre-battle celebration? Um... <laughs> he wouldn't come see us for that. Oh, you're no fun. Listen, cousin, when I'm done tearing up the battlefield tomorrow, I'm gonna throw my head back and shout victory with a big belly laugh just for you. <laughs> Seriously, though, Noah, we don't have any doubts you're gonna lead us to a win. Practically a given! Hey! Wish us luck out there, cousin. Not that we need it. <laughs> They'll be fun to celebrate with once we win the war. Ho there, cousin! <laughs> Noah, you're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> Sorry, Leon. Amusing, coming from a gal who can't get to sleep because she's too excited. Mimi, don't tell him that. Aha! Caught in a web of lies. Web? It's one little lie that's like a strand of a lie, if anything. The web thickens. Oh, man, webs do not thicken. They, I mean. <laughs> <sighs> Funny, though. Feels like it was only yesterday that we met. That's how life is. Time rolls by without you noticing. Until one day, you're looking around, wondering where it all went. Yeah, I guess that's true. Say, Noah, after we win tomorrow and send the Empire packing, what you gonna do with yourself? I honestly haven't given it much thought. Really? Okay, okay, so hear me out. What if we formed a new watch? We could hunt monsters, teach brigands a lesson or two, fun times like that. <laughs> that does sound fun, actually. I know, right? Uh, Mimi, are you in? I must finish my journey of the sword. Oh, boo! But I suppose it wouldn't hurt to tag along for a little while. A connection like ours deserves that much. Really? Woohoo! Now we just gotta rope Garin! <laughs> Well, now that I've got something to look forward to, I'm gonna tuck in. Big victory in the works tomorrow and all that, right? Sleep well, you two. <laughs> She'll never change. No, probably not. And neither will you. You're steady as a rock, which is probably why so many people stand by you. As for me, You've taken me on an incredible journey as a swordswoman, and I'm grateful. Oh, I didn't do anything special. Hmm. Well, perhaps I'll turn in as well. Can't swing a sword with tired arms, after all. Yeah. We're going to win, Noah. We sure are. Forgot to mention, when we form our new watch, I'm 
carrying over my status as senior member. Wouldn't have it any other way, boss. That's my kiddo. Trouble sleeping, Commander. I needn't stress how crucial it is to be rested for tomorrow, I trust. Yeah, I know. Melrich, tell me something, a and don't lie. Do we have any chance at winning this thing? Well, I suppose you deserve an accurate assessment of our chances. If every single one of our ruses is a success, I place our odds at three in ten. Three in ten? That's... Wow. Yes. Wow. <laughs> that said, and I do not put this out into the world as some hollow lie to boost morale. I believe we will win. Wait, really? The thing about people is that you can't take their full measure based on mere numbers and information. To me, that's the most fascinating part of living. As a tactician, I look at the numbers, analyze the strategy, and tell you three in ten. But when I look at how hard everyone has prepared for tomorrow, and how resolutely they face the challenge, I believe something different. I believe it's what's inside that will decide who wins. And by the measure of our hearts and spirits, we are certain to carry the day. So that is my answer. Given not as a tactician, but as a rather plain man named Melridge. I'm glad you said that. Because I feel like we're gonna win too. Then we shall. Oh, I should retire now. After all... I have to prepare not only a battle plan, but a victory feast. Make it a good one. Evening, Noah. Couldn't sleep. Just out for a walk. What about you, Hildy? I've been double-checking everything for tomorrow. We can't afford a single mistake in such an important battle. Yeah. <sighs> you know, I had my reservations when the lieutenant, when Sane told me he was deserting the Empire. My entire life had been built around my military career, and the thought of turning my coat was unimaginable. So, why'd you do it? Because I owe a debt to House Kessling and Sane's father. In fact, that's how I ended up becoming Sane's aide. He always seemed conflicted, both when he was out on missions and when he was placed under Duke Aldrich's command. <sighs> I'm sure he was just as conflicted by his decision to leave. But the moment he did, it was like the shackles came off. He was finally free to fight for his own beliefs. And I could see he was... happy. That's why I went along with him. Because seeing him happy also made me happy. I believe we have you to thank for being such a strong influence on Sane. Oh, I don't know about that. No, it's true. So, on behalf of the Lieutenant, allow me to extend my deepest thanks. You helped him discover that he could walk his own path through life. You set him free. Oh, I don't. I mean, that seems a little... Wait. 
Really? I think I'll get back to work, Commander. Don't stay up too late. We need you on top form tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. Hey, Noah. Out taking the air? Probably wouldn't kill you to catch some shut-eye. I'm on it. The fates of a lot of folks are on the line tomorrow. I know, Gar. It's a big responsibility, but I'm ready to shoulder it. <laughs> Didn't think I had to worry. All you gotta do is stand tall like always. We'll fight for you to our dying breath. Thanks, Gar. Tell me that after we win. Nothing fills a mercenary's belly like a savory meal after a sweet victory. So let's make sure we get extra helpings of both, yeah? <laughs> Good plan. The damn Empire doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> Night. Oh, and get to sleep already. <laughs>